I've got a preview for a machine that you may or may not have heard of. It's the Pulse XE from Matter Hackers. It prints Nylon X like a dream. We're gonna talk about it here for just a little bit. I'm Joel, this is 3D Printing Nerd. A little while ago, Joe, the 3D maker noob over in Malta, had a review of the Pulse printer. Pulse is something that Matter Hackers makes and produces. It can be customized. It's a great idea. It looked like it was a great price and it produces fantastic results. Joe made me jealous. Jealous because I want a cool machine like that. I want to be able to, to use that and to, to talk about it. Fast forward a little bit. I have some projects that uh, I have to complete around the house. Now that I am a full-time content creator, there are certain things that need to be made. There are brackets and shelving units and things that require structural integrity. You don't... Ah! And that's where Nylon X comes in. Nylon X from Matter Hackers is a carbon fiber infused nylon material. You can't just print that with anything. If you send Nylon X through a brass nozzle, it's just gonna widen the orifice and you're gonna have a bad day after about 200 grams of filament. Enter the Pulse XE. The Pulse XE was designed as, well, a great machine. It's the Pulse with some upgrades and it just goes through Nylon X like crazy. In fact, when you buy this 3D printer, you get two spools of Nylon X and you get the print dry system to keep it in because we know nylon filaments are hygroscopic. Yes, that's a word, go look it up. Nylon X parts, here's one for an example. They are amazingly rigid and strong and stiff. And Dave here at Matter Hackers actually drove his truck over a part. This is a bracket to hold a flashlight. And the idea is the flashlight goes in here. It doesn't close all the way because it's holding it tight and then this part fits in and then it can click into place. And if you look at this print, it's glorious. It's a wonderful design and the print quality, well, the print quality is great. I want this in my life. So I think uh, through Matter Hackers, we're going to work out a deal where I can use a Pulse XE and some Nylon X to complete some of the projects around my house that require structural integrity. And I'm gonna be showing off the things that I print on the channel. So, well, let's talk about the machine real quick. Like I said, this is based on the Pulse platform, which is $799 fully assembled and shipped out to you. Joe, 3D Maker Noob, reviewed it, reviewed it highly. I will put a link to his video down in the description. The machine has a number of upgrades, which are fantastic, and I'll, I'll go through those uh, one by one here. First up, it's got the Orbit Auto Calibration Sensor. And if you know the BL Touch, it's manufactured by the same people. Uh, they just have a little bit more documentation on it, and it's fully supported by Matter Hackers. The bed surface is heated and Gerolite. Uh, the reason they chose Gerolite is because as a, as a Nylon X printing machine, it can hold onto that Nylon X really well. And with the binder clips and the signs, it is a removable print surface as well. There's a filament runout sensor right here to make sure uh, and give you some peace of mind when printing in case you have some filament going through, it runs out, you're not at home to stop it or pause it, it'll pause the print and then you can put some more filament in and keep printing. Right back here is the Bontech extruder. So you're not gonna get filament slipping or under extrusion. It's going to grab the filament from both sides and push it through no matter what. You could probably have a strand of filament held up here and the Bontech would probably hoist the printer up. It's, it's wonderful. Follow the pathway over to an E3D V6 hot end, which can get nice and hot. And at the bottom of that is an Olsen Ruby nozzle. Nylon X is extremely abrasive because the carbon fiber bits within it are strong and sharp and irregular. So it'll just chew through a brass nozzle, it'll widen the orifice, and then you won't be within spec and you won't have good prints. The Ruby nozzle, it, let's be honest, the Ruby nozzle is gonna last longer than I am. It'll eat tons of carbon fiber filament without skipping a beat. And so it's a welcome addition to the Pulse XE 3D printer. And like I said, towards the beginning, it's got the print dry system, which keeps the moisture away from your Nylon X and it's got holes in there. So you can keep the Nylon X in the print dry and feed it directly to the 3D printer right there. It'll, it'll keep it dry while you're printing. And plus, like I said before, you get to start with two rolls of Nylon X material to print with this thing if you get this machine. Granted, you'll chew through that pretty fast because you're gonna have a lot of fun printing Nylon X and there's gonna be a good reason for you to want more of it. I know two rolls probably won't be enough for what I need to do. Well, knowing that, that's just a preview of the Pulse XE. Again, this is not a review. I just know that I'm going to showcase this on the channel and I'm gonna print some really awesome things with it. I thought you should be made aware because it's a wonderful machine available here at Matter Hackers. I'll put a link 
down in the description. And full disclosure, that link benefits the channel. But with that in mind, thanks for watching and subscribing. If you're not subscribed, please do. And consider ringing that bell to be notified of when really cool printers is uploaded to the channel. If you like what we did, consider buying me a coffee and keeping me properly caffeinated. There's a link in the description for that. If you like what we do here on the channel, consider supporting us via patreon.com. That link is down there as well. And finally, if you find yourself shopping online using the affiliate links listed in the description, will definitely help keep food on the table. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to hug each other more, because I love you guys, as always. High five.